another injury. Whoop de doo. Um, this one shouldn't be that bad though, thankfully. My coach has reassured me that he believes that it's nothing more than just a spasm. Um, I felt a go on my last rep of the deadlift, which I was really annoyed about because even though my coach mentioned that it's a central nervous system thing and it may actually have nothing to do with my form, um, which makes complete sense because looking back at the footage and going back to how it felt, I've lifted a lot heavier in the past with worse form and not had a problem. Um, I, yeah, he reassured me it's just a spasm um, and that it's nothing too dramatic and that it was sim it's simply just my central nervous system panicking and my brain telling my body that something bad could happen so let's seize up in order to prevent anything dramatically bad from happening uh, which is frustrating i was really pissed and i was really down after it um, however he called me pretty much straight away my coach and spoke me through some protocols that i can do and have been doing ever since in order to overcome it he reassured me that it's something that may only last a few days um, it will most definitely be forgotten about entirely within a week um, which was really nice to hear um, i'm pretty sure i've experienced this before and it took me a few days to overcome without doing any protocols so hopefully with the protocols i should get over it quickly it is extremely frustrating i won't sit here and lie i wasn't having the greatest workout um, just mentally i was performing okay but mentally I wasn't having the greatest workout. I had let myself down today. I hadn't been in control of like my dopamine at all. I had been fairly lazy throughout the day. Um, and that came back to bite me. Uh, I was doing a, a much later session than I usually do. And yeah, I guess you are where you deserve to be, right? Um, I kind of asked for this in a way. My coach mentioned that just because it's to, it's a central nervous system thing, it could literally be as simple as my body coming down with something like a cold or a flu and panicking over something that it would never usually panic over when it's in tip top condition. And as soon as he said that, I was like, right, that makes complete sense. Why does that make complete sense? Because my sleep is something that I've been neglecting recently. Whilst I've been getting my hours in, they haven't been quality hours. I've been quite consistent with getting quality hours in for a little while now. I haven't been going to bed any later than midnight. And that was late. I've been getting into bed between 10 and 11 most nights. And whilst that's unusual for me, I consider myself a bit of a night owl. I felt like it had been serving me. And recently, I've gone back to my nocturnal ways for like the last week to 10 days maybe. So as soon as he said that oh, I could just be like you being run down, I was like, damn, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. And unfortunately, it probably does tie into my sleep, which is frustrating because funnily enough, I've actually been super productive in my late nights. I've been doing what I would consider a lot of work in those hours, a lot of creative work in those hours. So that has been my excuse to allow them to continue and not regain control of them. However, after today, I feel like that's something that definitely needs to be looked into, right? Um, my body's clearly run down by it. And yesterday, funnily enough, I felt my throat become a little bit dry, which is something that I have, I guess what you could call protocols for that allow me to nip it in the bud in an instant, which is probably one of the reasons why I don't really get ill very often. And yeah, then today, this, this really is ugly head. But we'll, we move, right? We'll be all right. I'll be fine. I'll be back in the gym tomorrow doing something. Um, I'll be doing the protocols that my coach has given me probably every half an hour, 45 minutes whilst I'm awake, simply because 
I know that if I don't do it that often, I'll sit still and seize up and it won't be good. And simply just driving home, once I got home today, it was not nice. Walking the dog was a very, very difficult. And it wasn't until towards the end of the walk, I started to loosen up. I was doing some of the movements on the walk whilst he was doing his thing. And then the walk back was a lot easier. So sitting around and sitting down, it's not going to be a good look right now. I need to keep moving and stay moving. Um, anyway, I won't bore you anymore. If you made this far, thank you very, very much. And I'm not down now. I will definitely see you tomorrow. Um, I appreciate you more than you can imagine. I'm, I'm in a lot today and it's really getting on my nerves. So I shall see you tomorrow. Thank you.